Referees, we thank you for your hard work at the fields. When the final whistle blows, your job isn't quite done. Remember that the score in the final report must be submitted to the league. This video will help you understand the process and the steps to report your games in God Soccer and GameOfficials.net. Let's make this important part of your job as simple and easy as possible. Game results are important to everyone. Scores and reports must be submitted to the league on time. This means within 24 hours of the game. The reports must be accurate, with complete details, and of course all correct information. On game day, before you return player passes and team rosters after the game, make sure that you have recorded all player names, jersey numbers, and names of team officials if needed so that incident reports will include complete information. If you have issued a red card or dismissed a team official, you must retain that player pass or coach pass. Youth League game reports require two steps, GameOfficials.net and Got Soccer. It can be done quick and easy, especially when you only have a final score to report. All youth games must be reported in GameOfficials.net and the scores must be entered in Got Soccer for all games that have a game number prefix as listed above. Keep this information handy throughout the season. You can download a complete copy of the Spring 2017 Got Soccer event IDs at ColoradoReferees.com or find it posted in messages of GameOfficials.net and your league assigner can provide you this information as well. Many games will require the entry of a final game score only. This means you did not issue any yellow or red cards, there was no irresponsible behavior by a coach or team official, and all spectators were well behaved. This is great, and you can even enter the score right from the field on your mobile device if you have time. Bookmark the Got Soccer mobile site or download Got Soccer Featured Events app. Enter the app and click on the Got Soccer. Click the event scoring icon, which will bring you to the event scoring access screen. This is where you will need the event ID and PIN number. Reference your game assignment in GameOfficials.net. The prefix in front of the game number will tell you what event ID you need to enter. You do not need to enter the letters in the prefix to enter a score in Got Soccer. Only the three to four digit game number, then go. Enter the game number without the prefix and hit go. Then touch on H or V to open the home score entry and be sure to correctly enter the score for the home and away teams then remember to click save. And that's it for God Soccer. It's simple. Remember you can even get this part done from the field after the game if you have time. Step 2. After games in your GameOfficials.net account. Take time to complete these after-game reports when you return home from the fields while everything is fresh in your mind and before you get busy with other things. This may just be a simple score entry or you may need to provide an incident report with information. Log in to your GameOfficials.net account and select After Games from the main menu. Your After Games page will load and your games are displayed by day, week, or month. You can change this by using the green labeled links shown here. If you don't see your games listed here, double check that you are in the correct assigner group for the games for which you worked on this date, and if not, use Change Identity to change assigner groups. And also be sure that the correct date or the date range is displayed. When your games have loaded, you'll be ready to enter the final score by clicking on the game number. 
Please take note that referees are encouraged to track their mileage using their own preferred method. Reimbursement for mileage is not a part of referee payment, and there are no reports in game officials to easily run your total miles at the end of the year. Our suggestion is to use the great apps that are out there for this, or simply create yourself a simple spreadsheet to track your mileage throughout the year. Enter the final score for home and away teams. For league games, you will not need to enter any information for kicks from the mark because league games may end in a tie. This is not for noting that penalty kicks were awarded during the game. When you have entered the score, be sure to click Save at the bottom of your screen. This process must be completed for all games that you work throughout the season. Are you done yet? Did you issue a yellow card? A red card? Is there a field condition or safety issue to report? Did you have irresponsible behavior and dismiss a coach? Do you need to notify the club or league about poor spectator behavior? Was there a serious injury to a player in the game? If you answered yes to any of these questions, you will need to complete an incident report for each for the appropriate game. Return to the After Game Information page and find the game number for the game that needs the additional report. This time, click on Incident Reports and this is where you will enter the details that need to be recorded. Green means go, so click on Click to add your incident report. The Incident Report page is where you will enter all specific details that will be sent to the league administrators and the assigner. Complete all fields necessary on this report page. You will need all the information that you recorded on your game card throughout the game to file your incident reports. Select the type of incident report and what time it occurred during the game. The full name of the player or the coach must be provided and the jersey number for the player. Select the reason from the drop-down menu and then be prepared to provide a detailed written description. A detailed description is not needed for yellow cards. However, the description of the incident is very important and is required for any red card, a dismissed team official, a serious injury, or an issue with spectators, just to name a few. Keep your details to include the facts only, no personal opinions, and be sure to note the who, the what, when, where, and how the incident occurred. Always include exact words or quote what was said if you were reporting foul and abusive language. The detailed incident description is the important information that will allow the league and the administrators to apply appropriate disciplinary action. When you are done, Select Submit to Secretary League, and of course always remember to click Save at the bottom of the page. Your report is then submitted to all appropriate individuals for review and action. The final step of your job is done. You have scores in Got Soccer, you have scores in GameOfficials.net after games, and you have submitted any necessary incident reports. Now just one more item. If you have a player pass or a coach pass that you retained for a red card or dismissal, you must mail the pass to Colorado Soccer Association's office. Reference the game reporting information for Spring 2017 for that mailing address. Please do this within 24 hours of the game. That's it! Game reporting made easy! If you keep good records during the game, and have all pertinent information to include, it's a simple process. And remember, reports are the final step to ensure you receive payment for your work. So make it a priority to submit your reports accurately, completely, detailed, and on time. It pays off. Spring pay dates and game pay information can be found in the messages of gameofficials.net 
and at coloradoreferees.com under resources in the library.